10 Most Dangerous Cities in America This list of the 10 most dangerous cities in America is compiled using crime data from the Federal Bureau of Investigation, local and state law enforcement agencies, and independent news sources. The rankings are based on the number of violent and property crimes committed, including homicides, rapes, robberies, and assaults per 100,000 residents of the cities. And because we know some will ask why cities such as Chicago aren't on this list, the answer is that it comes down to the numbers. Because this data is based on crimes per 100,000 residents, and with Chicago being home to around 2.7 million people, which is 2 million people more than the largest city on this list, the numbers equate to the chance of someone being a victim of a violent crime in Chicago being at 1 in 115, while the chance of someone being a victim of a violent crime in the cities on this list range from 1 in 49 to a high of 1 in 79. It's also important to note that though these cities appear on this list, they also have plenty of areas within them that are safe and thriving, and that every city has its challenges. So it's important to not paint the entire city with a broad brush. Now, let's have a look. Number 10, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Population 562,599. Albuquerque is a city rich in culture, history, and natural beauty. This city boasts stunning vistas of the Sandia Mountains, world-class museums, and a vibrant arts and music scene. However, despite its many charms, Albuquerque struggles with high poverty rates, low income growth, and low literacy rates, all of which create the perfect recipe for the high crime rates that exist here and consistently lands Albuquerque on the list of America's 10 most dangerous cities. Here are the numbers. In 2022, there were 120 reported homicides in the city, breaking the previous record of 114 set in 2021. The chance of somebody being a victim of a violent crime in Albuquerque is 1 in 72. For the state of New Mexico, that is an average of 1 in 127. The chance of someone being a victim of a property crime is 1 in 23, and 1 in 30 for the state. Number 9. Stockton, California Population 322,120 Located in the Central Valley region of California, Stockton sits 80 miles east of San Francisco and is the 11th largest city in the state. A city with a long and complex history with a diverse culture and a range of economic and social challenges, at one time Stockton was a thriving hub of economic activity, with a strong agricultural base and thriving industries. In the past few decades, however, the city has faced a list of challenges and setbacks that it has yet to find a cure for. From drugs to gangs to bankruptcy to embezzlement to high unemployment and homeless rates, it's easy to understand why Stockton is a constant on this list. There were 48 homicides in Stockton in 2022. In 2021, there were 39. And in 2020, there were 56. The chance of someone being a victim of a violent crime in the city is 1 in 79. For the state of California, the average is 1 in 227. The chance of someone being a victim of a property crime here is 1 in 30, and 1 in 40 for the state. Number 8. Cleveland, Ohio Population 367,991 Located in the northeastern part of Ohio along the southern shore, Cleveland was once home to a number of major steel mills whose value to the city cannot be outstated. The manufacturing industry provided jobs not only for the thousands of employees that worked inside these facilities, but also to the many local citizens that provided services to those factories and businesses where the workers spent their earnings. The decades of 1970s and 1980s, however, brought with them mass layoffs and closures of several production plants within the city and surrounding area. It was an occurrence that continued throughout the 2000s and one that the city has yet to recover from. Jobs in the city are now scarce, and the city's current poverty rate sits at 29.2%, a number that lands Cleveland with a dubious distinction of being the second poorest large city in America, and within the top five cities for child poverty. It is also ranked as the fifth fastest shrinking city in the nation, as residents continue to leave and search for better opportunities elsewhere. In 2022, there were 171 homicides in Cleveland, one more than the reported 170 in 2021. The chance of someone being a victim of a violent crime in the city is 1 in 58 for the state of Ohio, the average is 1 in 297. The chance of someone being a victim of a property crime is 1 in 26, and 1 in 54 for the state. Number 7. Rockford, Illinois Population 148,655 Rockford, Illinois was once home to a number of manufacturing plants that employed thousands of residents and produced products such as machine tools, industrial equipment, auto parts, furniture, precision casting, and rubber and tire products. But like so many other cities in the rust 
Rust Belt, Rockford was dealt a heavy blow to its economy as the decline of those industries in the latter part of the 20th century led to massive layoffs and facility closures. Also, like so many of those cities, the lack of new industries to replace those lost jobs has created the perfect environment for poverty and crime to flourish. In 2021, there were 24 homicides in the city. In 2022, that number fell to 17. The chance of someone being a victim of a violent crime in the city is 1 in 67. For the state of Illinois, the average is 1 in 253. The chance of someone being a victim of a property crime is 1 in 41, and 1 in 67 for the state. Number 6. Milwaukee, Wisconsin Population 573,020 In the early 1970s, Milwaukee was home to manufacturers such as A.O. Smith, Masterlock, Eaton Electric, and others that employed over 100,000 workers in its factories. But as the 1980s rolled in, so did a recession and other issues that led to massive layoffs and closures of majority of those factories. And though certain areas of Milwaukee have found their footing and are prospering, those thousands of lost, unreplaced manufacturing positions that left certain segments of the city in despair continued to show their massive effects of the city's crime data. In 2020, there were 190 homicides in the city. In 2021, that number increased to 193. The end of 22 saw it rise again to 214 homicides. The chance of someone being a victim of a violent crime in Milwaukee is 1 in 60. For the state of Wisconsin, the average is 1 in 309. The chance of someone being a victim of a property crime is 1 in 23, and 1 in 65 for the state. Number 5. Little Rock, Arkansas Population 201,893 Located in the heart of Arkansas Delta, an area known for its rich soil and ideal growing conditions for crops such as cotton, soybeans, and rice, agriculture in Little Rock has always been and to this day still is a main provider of jobs in the area. And though there are other industries in the area such as health, finance, tech, and advanced manufacturing that pay well, the lack of enough job opportunities for those with and without college degrees has helped to continue the generations of poverty and crime in the city. In 1994, the city gained unwanted nationwide attention when HBO released the documentary Gang War Banging in Little Rock. The documentary was made in response to Little Rock's 76 homicides in 1993, making the city the most murderous city per capita in the United States of that year. Unfortunately, all these years later, the city's reputation as one of the most dangerous per capita remains intact. In 2021, there were 65 homicides in Little Rock. In 2022, that number rose to 85. The chance of someone being a victim of a violent crime in the city is 1 in 49. For the state of Arkansas, the average is 1 in 141. The chance of someone being a victim of a property crime is 1 in 19 and 1 in 38 for the state. Number 4. Memphis, Tennessee Population 628,127 Known as the home of the blues and the birthplace of rock and roll, Memphis is known worldwide for its music, its barbecue, Beale Street, and unfortunately, its crime. And unlike so many other cities on this list that were at least beacons of prosperity at one time for the disenfranchised or less educated, Memphis has never held that distinction. As a point of reference, going back to the Memphis sanitation worker strike of 1968 that began because of poor working conditions and wages so low that many workers had to rely on food stamps and welfare to feed their families, the city's long-standing reputation as one with few livable wage jobs, high unemployment and poverty rates, and its distinction as having one of the nation's highest concentrations of temporary workers have all contributed to its generational history of mass poverty and high crime rates. Here are the numbers for Memphis. In 2020, there were 332 homicides in the city. In 2021, that number rose to 346. In 2022, it fell to 302. The chance of someone being a victim of a violent crime in the city is 1 in 40. The average for the state of Tennessee is 1 in 48. The chance of someone being a victim of a property crime in the city is 1 in 18 and 1 in 44 for the state. Number 3. Baltimore, Maryland Population 576,498 Once an industrial port city with tens of thousands of manual labor union jobs and the need to fill the non-union facilities with cheap labor, Baltimore once represented the chance for a better life for thousands of African Americans from the tobacco fields and farms of many surrounding states that flocked the city. But as the non-skilled industries disappeared and no other opportunities appeared for the displaced workers and their families, the city fell into and has yet to find answers for its decades of high crime, unemployment, poverty, and homicide rates. In 2021, there were 334 homicides in Baltimore. In 2022, the number fell by 1 to 333. The chance of being a victim of a violent crime in the city 
is 1 in 64, while the average for the state of Maryland is 1 in 253. The chance of being a victim of a property crime in the state is 1 in 33. The state average is 1 in 63. Number 2. Detroit, Michigan Population 632,464 Once the epicenter of the automobile industry, Detroit's demise began as far back as the 1950s when the auto industry began looking for ways to cut costs by building new plants in suburban areas, including automation to replace workers, and moving to less union-friendly states for lower-wage workforces. By the time the 1970s and 1980s had rolled around, Detroit had lost tens of thousands of manufacturing jobs, experienced a massive white flight tax base from the city, and experienced no traceable reinvestments into the most needed areas of the city. As the years passed, these losses continued to worsen and so began Detroit's nosedive into poverty, high unemployment, and crime. Here are the numbers. In 2021, there were 309 homicides in Detroit. In 2022, that number decreased by 1 to 308 homicides. The chance of being a victim of a violent crime in the city is 1 in 43. For the state of Michigan, the average is 1 in 202. The chance of being a victim of a property crime in the city is 1 in 28. For the state, the average is 1 in 72. Number 1. St. Louis, Missouri Population 293,310 Once a major business hub and a home to companies such as Anheuser-Busch, McDonnell Douglas, Ralston Purina, Southwestern Bell, and the St. Louis Truck Assembly Factory, the story of the demise and current state of crime and poverty in St. Louis is one that summarizes the existence of the majority of the cities on this list. It is one of lost industries, overturned antitrust laws, self-serving public policies, and political decisions made along racial lines that continue to have a negative and recurring generational effect on these communities and cities, and therefore ensure their continued appearances on this list for the most dangerous cities in America. Here are the numbers for St. Louis. There were 263 homicides in St. Louis in 2020. In 2021, that number fell to 200. And for 2022, that number held at 200 homicides. The chance of being a victim of a violent crime in the city is 1 in 67. For the state of Missouri, the average is 1 in 87. The chance of being a victim of a property crime in St. Louis is 1 in 18. For the state, the average is 1 in 42. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. If you like this type of content, please comment below and let us know what other topics you would like to see covered. Before you go, please do us a quick favor and like this video and subscribe to our channel as we upload new content weekly. See you in the next video!